Hi everyone, Andy Davis here again from Master of Voice, a channel with reactions to performers from across the world. In this episode, another reaction to Dimash, this time to S.O.S., as he performed it at the Slavic Bazaar back in 2018. Let's jump right in. Nice vibrato there. Wow, you guys. I'm excited to see this today because it's been a little over a year since I first learned of Dimash by reacting to his performance of S.O.S. on the Singer Competition. And so now seeing this performance, which I believe was about a year later for him, a year or so later, a couple years ago now for us, but I knew it was out there and I thought, you know, We've hit the one year mark with Dimash, and so it would be nice to jump back to 2018 and see this particular performance of this awesome song, the first song I ever saw him sing, and the first that many, I think, especially on YouTube, are introduced to him by. And so this is a very cool today. His voice is just starting out softly here. You can tell he's very much in thought setting the tone here setting the mood his voice is in the mid to upper chest voice range for him he's singing it sort of a mezzo forte or a softer volume even than that during certain parts of the phrases here also letting that wonderful vibrato kick in at the end of some of these notes the lyrics from french to english translate roughly of course the title is sos of a man in distress why do i live why do I die? Why do I laugh? Why do I cry? Here is the SOS of a man in distress. I've never had both my feet upon the ground. I'd rather be a bird. I don't fit into this skin. I'd like to see the world turned upside down. If ever it were beautiful, it's lovelier from above. From above. Beautiful lyrics to this song. I love that mix. Oh. Wonderful, you guys. This is what really just drew me into Dimash right off the bat. Seeing this excellent song from a, a rock opera back in the late 70s, Star Mania, I believe. And so when I first saw this back a year ago, I really wasn't aware of that element of it. But Dimash brought it back here as a cover song. Um, well, when I first saw it, he brought it back as a cover on the singer competition and now performing it here at Slavic Bazaar and doing such an excellent job, even within that year or year and a half time frame between the singer and this performance. You can tell the maturity level a bit more, in my opinion, and I just love this one huge phrase that starts out so low, showing off his lower register, which continues to mature through these years, but then ascending all the way up through his awesome range to that excellent, you know, we ascended from a low baritone, then went up to a chest voice, almost tenor ring, then mix quality, then staccato up into this mix head voice sound here. Truly, truly impressive and phenomenal. Oh. oh my gosh, you <laughs> got I just know there are some people in the audience that may have been hearing him for the first time that are just shocked 
like we all were when we first heard him sing this song. And I'm so happy to be hearing a different performance of it today. I just love this song. To me, I just have that bit of nostalgia for this since it was my first song I heard by him. And so this is just, ah, oh, it's getting me today. So pumped up to hear the rest of this. The lyrics continue, I've always confused life with the comic strips. Even wished I could transform. I feel something that draws me, that draws me, or attracts me, that draws me up. Je Oh my gosh, you guys, I just hate to even pause this performance. It is so exciting and he did so well. Right when I started the video back there, he changed the tone and timbre of his voice just a bit. A bit of a fuller sound, letting some louder volume come in there to really give a different emphasis to that section of lyrics. And then moving back into a more familiar verse, if you will. The lyrics continue on here. Into the great lottery of the universe, I don't have the right numbers. I don't fit into this skin. I don't want to be a robot. Eating, working, sleeping. into that excellent upper register there. A bit of a mixed sound, but then giving emphasis as he moves up into that whistle register right there at the end of the phrase. Just stellar vocals, as always, so impressive. That excellent breath control, allowing him to control the volume, those excellent dynamics, but then allows him to seamlessly move from each section of his range. And that is so incredibly difficult to do. But it is born within him, honestly. I know he works very hard at his craft, but I think so much of his talent was, was God-given, innately born within him. Just the ability to seamlessly move from register to register. It's just so hard to teach. It's just so incredibly impressive to hear him do it. The lyrics continue on. Why do I live? Why do I die? Why do I scream? Why do I cry? I think I'm catching waves from another world. I've never had both feet upon the ground. I'd rather be a bird. I'd like to see the world turned upside down. I'd rather be a bird. Sleep child sleep. These are beautiful lyrics and Dimash does them so very well. Great emotion. Yes.
Wow, you guys. Димашку Даверген, yes. Казахстан. <laughs> Absolutely. What a wonderful performance this was, you guys. I just love the control he displayed here for this beautiful song. The control he has of his excellent vocal instrument and his ability to perform. He performed so well to the audience and I really love the emotions he gave this song here. On top of that excellent vocal performance, it just made it incredible. Incredible, you guys. Oh, Dimash and SOS. I kept thinking about this song over the months, knowing that he had another more recent version of it, even though it's a couple years old for us now. I'm excited to have seen it today because I have seen some more recent performances and I know how his voice has grown and matured since even this performance. So I'm just so happy to know this and continue to be on this journey with you all. You dears out there that have stuck by me since the first few days of my channel. Here we are over a year old and now over 30 Dimash reactions. I hope you all will check out my playlist, all of you dears out there, and especially those of you that may be new to knowing about Dimash. Please check out my reaction playlist. I have over 30 performances, all of the singer performances when he was on that competition. And then I reacted to the entire Bastille concert. So many excellent performances, especially repeat songs from the singer, but done in a, a concert setting. Uh, very well done. And now I've bumped on into, you know, like I said, 2018, but I also have several of his more recent performances now. And I have more to go. I am excited to keep on this journey with you all. And I hope you enjoyed this reaction today. It's been a little bit of time since we've had Dimash on the channel. And I'm excited to feature him again today. If you did enjoy this reaction, please click like and hit subscribe. Leave me a comment down below and click the bell so you know when I'm releasing new content. I've also left links to my social media, my Ko-fi page down below. And otherwise... Just have a great day.